Okay, I have here an Abus D10, upgraded version of the Abus D6. Um, it's got a two-star SKG and comes with a bunch of passive pins as well, which do quite get in the way of picking. Um, normally passive pins don't do much for security, but in this case they kind of do. So again, we can just stick a tensioner in down here. It's got a little ridge of warding there and there, which means you stick it here, Pretty much any angle guarantees you're not actually binding the core up, which is nice. Um, and I'm going to use my curved flag from Multipick, which you can see I have wrapped in a whole bunch of electrical tape for ergonomics, because these picks are just too small. And now that I've been playing with the Bones ones, man, I can't go back to this tiny size. It's just infuriatingly small um, for anything but a really short interval. So this is the number, where is it, eight? Um, so I can just sneak over this, uh, over this ridge of warding here and avoid those passive pins on the top, which I guess you can maybe see and get these ones here. So anyway, there we go. Um, so I need to go tensioning that way and picking this way. Maybe a bit of a pain this one, but I've looked at it a couple of times. I don't have a key for it. I haven't gutted it yet, but I have a fair idea what's inside. Yeah. All right, there's that false set, good sign. Binding down the back, camera rotating. Oop, drop bloody everything. Best not to do that. All right, back in our false set, that's good. Drop in one again. There we go, just was a bit underset down the back there. Back into that false set. Must be that last one here. Oop. Been a bit sick recently. Apologize for any noises I failed to remove in my edit. Alright, All right. here it is. I don't think we actually got that. I think we just dropped things instead.
And we got it. And it's open. All right. Bit tricky. Dropped a few pins there. Um, the flag having to be curved and the way I need to get around that warding definitely makes it more awkward. All right. So there we go. Um, now, the fun part is to get this C clip off. Oh, shake my hand out a bit. All right. Let's try and cut this thing. That like for that. Right, this the other one of these is a real pain to get the clip off, so I'm going to chuck that like so. Okay. Chuck that like so and Get it off like that. All right. Success. Okay, let's make that slightly less aggressive angle. Get a follow up. Shove that down in there. A uh, shim, rather, not a follow up. And then we'll slide our follow up in. I'm not going. Take the shit out and hope for the best. Oh, it worked without a shim. I don't know what we were getting hold up on. All right, there's our top fitting. You can see we've got some very high lifts down there. Some reasonably pretty, a lot of high lifts actually. Yep. You got the first passive pin onto the floor. Yep. Yep. All right, that's this is just going to be one of those locks, is it? All right. Pin one, passive pin something. Yeah, there are more of these than I thought there were. I thought there were four passive pins. I guess there can be six. Um, hmm. All right, well, that one's out of four, three. Put that back. So there can be seven. Um, I know the one that I dropped is out of one because it was right off the front there. So you can see it. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, here's the plug. Little drill rod right at the front there. Got the snap protection down here. Um, seven slots for passive pins on the bottom, which really do get in the way. Uh, there's that down at the keyway shot. So yeah, we were snaking around this piece of warding. I found that to be the best um, for getting things. There's one more passive pin. It's on the floor. I'm not going to find that for you. It'll look the same as the others, surely. If it doesn't, then I'll come back. All right, pin one, standard. Pin two, standard. Looks like drill protection pins, they felt standard. Pin three, also standard. Four is a long spool. Five is a long spool. And six is a long spool. 
and then some springs. One, two, three, five, six. That's the springs as well. All right, let's just rearrange those. So, quite a bit of drill protection up the front. That's where that SKG rating comes in. Um, not really anything to do with picking, but those be drill protection, drill protection, drill protection, drill protection, drill protection. There's that rod up the top as well, um, and the anti-snapping. Uh, the D6 has the anti-snap as well, but it has less drill protection than this. Um, and passive pins allow for good key control. Still got these three nice long spools. Um, oh, this pin's really quite damaged on top. Really quite mangled, actually. It's interesting. Um, the others all look fine. I wonder what happened to that one. Mm, yeah. I don't know how well you can see that, but ew. Anyway, it's the first time I've gutted that. That looks a bit odd. I wonder if that still works with a key. I'm guessing probably not. I don't have a key, so it doesn't really matter. And it's obviously still pickable. So there we go. That is the famous uh, two-star SKG, the D10. Um, here's what else it's got written on it. Nothing too exciting. Um, so the blue belt ranking, pretty cool little dimple lock. One of the few I've needed to pull a flag out for. I uh, have curved flag out for, so that's nice. I found it. Wasn't a passive pin after all, was this little slug. It's in this hole here. More drill protection down the side. That's all that was. So there we go.